my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little gift guide for you guys, but these items are all more personal items. If you have someone very sentimental on your list, then these would be some really great gift ideas. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. I have items in all different price categories, everything from a couple hundred dollars to absolutely free. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, to go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week and sometimes multiple times a week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. I do have a little list made here, that's just so I don't forget anything, but it's in no particular order. So first on my list, I did actually mention this in one of my other hauls, I don't know when this is going up exactly, but I would suggest this for one of your tech lovers. Um, I do have an entire video dedicated to this, which I will link down below if I've already posted it. But this one is a personalized laptop cover. This is one that I did actually, it's upside down, but I would get a clear laptop cover. Make sure you know exactly which laptop they have, but then I, I would just decorate it and personalize it a little bit. And I just think that's such a cute idea. Every time they have their laptop with them, which is, you know, people can't live without technology these days, they will be thinking about you all that time. So just a little idea. If they love Mickey, add some Mickey ears, their initials, and you don't have to get like super fancy. You can add some stickers. You can add just like some gemstones, some bigger gemstones. There's uh, initials that are already jeweled that you can buy that's like already set together you know what i mean so you don't have to like individually place each one so just go to hobby lobby they have so many options next up we have advent calendars all right so um i did recently get two advent calendars which i'll just show you real quickly because i just love them so much this one is a chocolate one by lint and it has like all 25 or 24 days worth of chocolate which is awesome. I will be opening one each day on my Instagram with you guys, so we can do that together on Instagram. Make sure you're following me there. And I did also get a Harry Potter one, Funko Pop. So if you have a loved one that loves Harry Potter, this one is uh, from Amazon and that one, the Lindor one is from World Market. <laughs> but uh, I will be opening this every single day with you guys as well on Instagram. If you don't know what an advent calendar is, each single day, like, you open the little box or whatever on the advent calendar and it leads up to Christmas Day, which is freaking awesome. I mean, a little gift every single day leading up to Christmas. I love that. Especially if I got these like as a gift from someone, each day that I'm opening that little gift, I will be thinking of that person every single day. Yes, we have regular advent calendars, but to personalize it. I actually did this last year, I think, or the year before, I think it was last year. Uh, I did get one of those advent calendars that just open up and it's empty. It's like a wooden advent calendar, which apparently a lot of people already have. If you don't, then, I mean, you can always get one from Amazon, Target is where I got mine. And I filled each one with a little love poem. <laughs> for my husband so each day he would open it up um and it would be like a countdown to christmas but it would be something that i loved about him so i just thought that was like a really cute little idea you know each single day he can just whether he's like on his way to work something to brighten up his day coming back from work you know it's just it's just something fun and very personal it doesn't have to be a poem i mean you can just write uh 25 or 24 things that you will love about them you know a, a characteristic that you love about them so yeah you can do an advent calendar but with little love poems or love letters or if you don't have an advent calendar and don't want to buy an advent calendar just write them a love letter how often do people write each other letters that i mean that aren't bills and stuff like that but i mean like just just letters telling them how much they appreciate them, how much they love them. Um, it doesn't have to be for like your husband or, sp or spouse or whatever. It can be, um, you know, for your parents, for your best friend. And you can make it all fancy if you want. You can decorate it, put some glitter on it, you know, whatever. Or you can just write it plain, you know, fold it up in a cute origami shape. I mean, you, you, you can do whatever you want. But the fact is, it came from you and it'll let them know just how much they mean to you. All right, next on my list. Oh, yes. 
PJs. Who doesn't like getting pajamas, especially Christmas pajamas? And a way to personalize them is, of course, um, monogramming their initials. I think that would be really cute. Uh, or you can get the entire family matching pajamas and then take a picture, either professional or, you know, just on your phone or whatever, but get that picture framed. They'll be so cute and just bring that out every Christmas as a Christmas decoration. Like a big framed picture of you and your family in matching Christmas pajamas. <sighs> I mean, how cute would that be? You can even do like a collage of different pictures. Like one picture can be like everyone's serious. Then the other picture can be everyone in their Christmas PJs having some hot cocoa. I mean, just make it your own. It's, it, it's such a fun little tradition to start. Each year you can hold the old picture. You know, have you seen those? Like, you know, like each year they hold the old picture and it just keeps going and each picture kind of builds on. I, I love that idea. Next, we have an option for the more religious people in your family. So everyone needs a good Bible, all right? Everyone. But this is such a great way to personalize their Bible by getting it um, mono monogrammed, engraved, I don't know exactly the term for embossed, I think it's embossed, I don't even know, but um, this one has my name on it, and it's just such a cute little touch. This is actually brand new, I do have another Bible that I, I, I use, but this, uh, if, in case you're wondering, the Jesus Centered Bible Life Tree Group, that would be greater for um, either older kids or um, like an older adult. This is not exactly part of the list, but this Bible was next to that Bible, so I was like, I might as well show you guys. But if your target person is a younger person, like a preteen or something, um, you can get them the Action Bible. How cute! It's like a comic book. They have pictures and everything, and I love pictures, okay? I don't know why they make books for adults with no pictures. I mean, I, I still like pictures, okay? And this is the Bible, but in comic book form. How cool is that? Like, I would have never thought to do this. can't remember where. I think I got it from Costco or Sam's Club or something, but very, very cool. I think preteens especially would like enjoy this that age group the uh embossing on the bible that was the main idea but thought i'd throw that in there next up we have a scrapbook okay so um i love scrapbooking and if you have a scrapbooker in your family get them a scrapbook but start off the few pages for them so um i actually got this idea from my friend who when i graduated high school actually she gave me a scrapbook and she had the first couple of, of pages filled with our pictures together and I just thought that was the cutest idea. I still have it to this day. Such a cute way to like cherish your memories together and I mean they can just always keep that scrapbook either dedicated just to you or the family or I mean if you are gifting it to your best friend. I mean that'd be such a cute idea. The next item would be a kind of like a gift card idea. Okay, um, everyone loves gift cards, but I would get a, for example, main event or what is that other place? Not Dooney and Burks. What is that? That's a purse company. Dooney and Dave and Buster's. <laughs> uh, main event, Dave and Buster's. Someplace like that, I would get them, like each family member, a gift card of like, say, 25 bucks or something. And then you can either give them the option of planning a day together so that everyone can go to main event together and spend a whole day together or or an evening together. So this, this is kind of like a two-part gift because they do get the gift card, but then they get another day to spend with you. Speaking of gift cards, uh, when all else fails, you know, give a gift card. Everyone loves gift cards. But you can personalize it by creating a gift card bouquet. All right, hear me out. So um, you can create a little bouquet full of fake flowers, preferably, and then attach gift cards to each little flower. You know, it doesn't have to be a lot. It can be like five bucks each or whatever, but you know, a little bouquet of gift cards. Or you can do a gift card tree, a little mini Christmas tree. <laughs> have you seen those mini Christmas trees from like the Dollar Tree. I mean, you can just get a little tree like this and then attach each gift card as an ornament. That'd be so cute. A really cute presentation of gift cards. I think that would be really nice. And speaking of trees, 
Do you like how I'm like leading into each item? I, I do. I'm very impressed. Uh, talking about trees, um, getting a personalized tree. Okay, so if you have like kids or um, someone that's like obsessed with say Harry Potter or Disney or something, um, you can get them their own little personal Christmas tree. It doesn't have to be a big Christmas tree, you know, like a four foot Christmas tree or something. And they can keep it in their rooms or their office and decorate it with the ornaments that they love. So you can get them a tree and little ornaments. I know there there's like Harry Potter ornaments sets and you can get them little individual Disney ornaments. I mean, so many options. This is kind of like a before Christmas gift, kind of, but you can give them the Christmas tree and then each day leading up to Christmas, you can hand them a, a little gift and it's the ornament that's wrapped, you know? So they add each ornament each day. It's kind of like an advent calendar, but Christmas tree ornaments, you know what I mean? Anyways, that's a unique idea. Uh, and then every year after that, you can gift them their own little personal Christmas tree ornament that ha has to do with their theme. So that would be really cool, especially for um, kids. I feel like they love to express themselves and if they have like a really um, diehard interest or something, like if they're obsessed again with like, I can't, I can only think of Harry Potter and Disney right now, but <laughs> anything else, um, unicorns. I mean, anything, they can do a little personalized Christmas tree. Okay, you will have to excuse the humming buzzing sound my husband is home. Enough said. So moving on down our list. Um, next up I have birthstones. Okay, I love my birthstone. My birthstone is aquamarine, which is the birthstone for March, but that is such a great gift. And I don't know why no one really, at, at least my family never thinks of it. So I actually did get an aquamarine ring um, it's a little stackable ring and very, very tiny stones and they're very, very light blue. There's so many different shades of aquamarine, but um, just all you have to know is what month they were born and just get their birthstone. You can get rings, you can get earrings. Um, I mean, there's so many options out there, so many different price points. And it is said that wearing your birthstone brings you good luck. Oh, and I just remembered that Walmart actually carries birthstone... Christmas ornaments. I actually have two of them from Walmart and I actually gifted them for my family. I have the March one and my husband has Sapphire for September and uh, they're very, very beautiful. The ornament is in the shape of a heart and it looks like a gemstone and on the front it says the birth month and on the back it says like the main traits of people born that month but uh, I just thought that's really cute. Yeah, I love those. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot about those. But those go with the birthstone category and they're far more affordable than jewelry. So another option is getting them a subscription, which again, varies in price, but it is more of a pricier option. Um, but if they are obsessed with say makeup, get them a subscription. I personally have a subscription to BoxyCharm. Um, I do have a code that you can use. I don't know what I get out of it. I, I don't know what y'all get out of it either. I think you get like 10% off or your first box free something. I don't know. If I remember, I'll put the code up. I always forget to mention it, but um, I'm not sponsored or anything, but BoxyCharm is the only <laughs> subscription that I have. So it's the only one that I can speak for. And it is really excellent. I'm actually going to cancel it this December. Not because it's bad or anything, but because I have too much makeup. They literally give you five full-size makeup products for, I think it's $25 per month. And I think the price goes down a little, like, depending on if you buy, like, a year's worth of subscription. They also have, like, every three months, every six months. I think that's it. I don't know. But, yes, just go to BoxyCharm.com. They have all the details on there. But, oh. Yeah, getting a subscription box for them. That That's how my husband got me BoxyCharm. It was a gift. And let me tell you, it is the gift that keeps on giving because every single month I got a BoxyCharm and I would get new makeup products. Oh my gosh, I love it. I really do, but I just have too much now. So 
they also have um ipsy i used to have ipsy it is also like much more affordable i think it's ten dollars a bag they have so many subscriptions nowadays like they have ones for disney they have ones for disney park foods what but uh they have um uh, ones for men for like beard grooming <laughs> and stuff like that so there's so many subscriptions out there uh that would be a great idea to get some someone you know that you can even get them just one box so that they can see if they like it and let them know that it's a subscription you know so you don't have to pay for like a whole year the next item kind of goes along with scrapbooking it is for all those scrapbook lovers it is the cricket uh i do not have a cricket but that thing looks freaking amazing especially the new one that came out like it can do so much a cricket is like a machine that um, is used to personalized items with like vinyls and I think it also cuts wood and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, it, it's amazing. It, the thing looks so cool and oh, I want one so bad, but it is pretty expensive. So just keep that in mind. And you know, you not only need the machine, you need like the vinyls that go in it and all that. And if they do have a Cricut, there are so many different packages of different colored vinyls and stuff like that, that you can get them. It's a great gift idea, uh, especially since those things can get very expensive, having to repeatedly buy more and more um, vinyls and all that. So just a thought. This next item goes along with scrapbooking, kind of, uh, and creativity. <laughs> um, it is the Polaroid camera. Uh, I don't have a Polaroid camera either, but I really want one too. Um, there is uh, so many colors to choose from. I. I saw this baby pink one, which is really cute, but also this beautiful mint, like aquamarine color, which I'm obsessed about too. Can't even decide which color I like because it, they both look so cute, but they have so many colors. They have like white and yellow and just so many different colors. But um, yes, you can get them a Polaroid camera and they can just use that to just keep their memories alive, you know, take pictures of their friends, of their family, and they can store it in a scrapbook and oh i mean that's that's such a good gift it's that's also a gift that keeps on giving because you know they just they can't get to keep all of these memories we are on to the last item on our list and um, i kind of mentioned this earlier on in the list but this is a tradition that my husband and i do uh every single year for christmas and it is to get a ornament for every Christmas that we have spent together. So this will be our fifth ornament. <laughs> this is the one we got for this year. It's this little guy, Bob the Minion, holding a teddy bear. I mean, need I say more? So cute. I mean, it doesn't have to be this. It can be literally, like our theme is pretty much anything Disney. <laughs> so I get the ornament and on the bottom, I write the year that I got it. And hopefully, you know, many Christmases down the line, we'll have a tree full of these ornaments. And it kind of reminds us of all of the Christmases that we spent together. So that's just such a fun tradition. And I look forward to it every single year. And I mean, it's so cute. I mean, you don't have to do it this tradition with your spouse it can be like a family thing it can be a best friend thing just uh, a little gift idea a little tradition idea you know start your own little tradition alrighty guys so that is it for this gift guide for that sentimental someone please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye